Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how we attach and detach all the various types of tools and devices and systems onto the reach and rescue pole. The first and most common item is the flotation ball. You take the blue end on here, as you push this on it pushes the button straight through which is sprung, it slides straight on, further down the pole you take the collar, you spin and it's locked in place. This flotation ball is the type that will be fitted to all of the different types of poles except for the 5 meter pole. It takes the weight of the pole, lifts it off the water and allows the operator to manoeuvre the pole across the water with ease. It also keeps the whole thing up and out. That's normally the first stage. Another attachment is a very common one. The stainless steel crook. For hooking, for grabbing, you push these two buttons in. As you can see they're sprung here. Push them in, bring the collar over, twist and it's in place. That's now fixed. You can now turn the head in any rotational side you want. To remove, you push the buttons in, holding onto the attachment, and pull straight out. Another attachment is what we call the Pro Snare. Exactly the same system. Push those buttons in, allow them to poke out through the attachment holes, and away you go. This is the Pro Snare. It snaps closed onto the arm to remove. Again, push the buttons in whilst pulling the attachment away. Very common attachment is the flotation collar for going around the body. This will hold a man up and out of the water. The top collar, again, goes straight on. Very quickly you push the buttons in, they push out, they lock in place. To remove, you push the buttons in, holding the attachment, pull away, and you're ready to carry on. To remove the ball, You loosen the thread, bring it up to the top, buttons in, pull away. And that's the standard universal way that the reach and rescue system works.